Hi, everybody. Uh, last night, a dramatic new build came out for, for a Manifold of Release 9, which introduced the ability to create drawings from queries. In this video, we're going to see how to do that and uh, look at some of the unexpectedly cool features that the, the new capability produces. Everything that we do in this video, by the way, you can do in Manifold Viewer. That's a free download, no strings attached. You can download Manifold Viewer for free if you don't have Release 9 and follow along trying this video out on your own. What we're looking at here is a Manifold of Release 9 project that shows a, a drawing called Mexico as a layer in, um, in a map with uh, Bing uh, Maps satellite imagery as a background. And uh, here in another tab, we've opened up the uh, Mexico table that shows you the table behind that drawing. For each of the provinces in Mexico, which is what the drawing shows, uh, there's a geometry field that gives the uh, geometry for that object, which is an area object. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a query, and based on that query, we're going to uh, create a drawing. So let's create a query that's easy to do in Manifold. Right-click in the Project pane and choose Create New Query. New query. And we'll leave that name Query the default. Double-click on that to open it in a, window, in a window. And you can see the default text is a Select Star from one of the system tables. And uh, let's change that to something a bit more useful. I'm going to drag and drop the Mexico table into here so we have the schema of the Mexico table available. I hate keyboarding. You should hate keyboarding too. So anytime you can double-click on something, we're going to highlight here. We're going to double-click on the name of the table to uh, put the, the table there. That saves from having to manually keyboard that. And there, we've created our query. Select star from Mexico table. If we run the query, we can see what the results table is. And the results table is as we expect. It's all the fields from the Mexico table, including the geometry field. Uh, and uh, if we want, we can take a look at this new query here, which we've, uh, which we've written. Uh, Right-click on it, and it reports the schema that is generated uh, by the results table. That's a very handy feature. Uh, so let's now create a drawing from that. I'm going to turn off Mexico here in the map. And to create a drawing from in Manifold from a table, what you normally do is you'd right-click on the table and choose Create New Drawing. We can now uh, right-click on Query and cr choose Create New Drawing as well. And we're going to create a new drawing called Drawing. I'll leave it the default name, Drawing, based on Query. It knows there's a geometry field in there, so it offers to use that for us. Cool, we'll accept that. For the coordinate system, I'm going to choose a Pseudo Mercator because I know this particular drawing is in Pseudo Mercator. And I create, click Create Drawing, and we've just created the drawing. We can drag and drop that drawing into the map, and you can see there it appears. In uh, current builds of Release 9, uh, when you create a drawing from a query, that drawing only appears if you show it in, in, in some context, such as uh, a layer in a map. If you just double-click on the drawing on its own, it's not going to appear. That's a minor limitation. That's not a particularly big deal because, of course, we normally use these things in drawings. Uh, that'll be removed in a week or so, but for now, just uh, use, queries that you use drawings that you create from queries as a layer in a map. So here's that drawing. And we can pretty much do whatever we want with this drawing as we would with any normal drawing. So, for example, we can style it. If we don't like the default gray formatting, uh, we can uh, color the areas. And by let's, let's do thematic formatting, coloring them by name using unique values. I'll use a uh, color brewer uh, palette called Pastel. Click Update Style. And there, we've colored the, uh, the fields. That's, uh, that's all pretty cool. We can do other things. For example, I can uh, Control-click on these uh, provinces right there to select them. And I'm going to do a Control-C for copy, and then here in the project pane, I'll click paste. And what I've done is I've copied these objects here, and I've pasted them as a table. If I double-click open this Query2 table, it's called Query2 because it, it takes the root of the, the table name as, it's, as, the, as the root for the new, new, ob, new, new thing that it creates. Uh, we can see that it is indeed the records for those three objects that, we've, uh, that we uh, uh, selected in the map. And let's do this. Let's uh, edit uh, Select None. And what I'm going to do is, based on Query2, remember, here's the table. I'm going to create a, a drawing based on that. So let's create a drawing, create new drawing. And using Query2, using the John field and the chord system, we're going to choose who to make it again, create drawing. Now we've created a drawing called Drawing2. Let's drag and drop that into our map. And you can see that it is indeed the three uh, areas that we selected from the results table from the query. Uh, and if I alt-click on that, we can see in the, the, that is indeed Chihuahua, and that is uh, indeed Durango, and that is uh, indeed Zacatecas. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, let's delete that drawing. Let's remove that drawing from the map. And uh, here's the drawing that we created from, the drawing which is created from the query called Query1. Now let's do something uh, in, in this uh, uh, drawing that is uh, 
pretty darned amazing. I'm going to turn off this drawing and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click here on the Mexico table and here I'm going to click open this um, the original Mexico drawing. We can either click open that drawing as it is in the map or this being manifold if we like we can click it open in a different window. Let's do that. You can have the same thing open in multiple windows at the same time in manifold and uh, here I'm going to uh, so you can see the uh, context menu zoom to fit okay and uh, here here's the Mexico table for this drawing and uh, the same Mexico table that participates in the map and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click a few of these uh, areas so there uh, as I click on them as I select them here in the drawing you can see how they're selected in the table well that's uh, super and here in the table let's choose view filter let's view so it's only selected areas okay that's great now here's something that uh, you won't see in too many systems. For in the filter command I can choose filter using query. And what this does is it's telling Manifold, please write me the SQL, and there's the SQL, which w results in this filtration, selection uh, by filtration uh, based on what's selected in the map. And uh, what I can do now if I like is I can uh, choose save as query. So we're going to save this as query 3. I'm going to close this command window and now I open a query 3 and you can see there's our query and what this does is this query if you run this query it automatically generates a result table for everything which is selected in this Mexico drawing or the Mexico table and we can prove that that's true let's choose edit select none and here let's select a few other here are the Baja uh, provinces and now if I run this query again you can see it really does uh, report the various uh, uh, provinces that have been selected, such as ba Baja California, Baja California Sur, the Southern Cal Baja California, Yucatan, and uh, the other uh, provinces that are here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, uh, you're probably thinking that since this is a video that shows how to create uh, drawings from queries, hey, I bet we can create a drawing from uh, this query as well, query number three. And the answer to that is yes, we can. We can do is this. We can choose uh, Create. Uh, new drawing and it's going to be based on query 3 it's going to use the geom field and it's going to use a coordinate system of pseudomercator create drawing and now it's called drawing 3 let's drag and drop drawing 3 into the map and what do we see we see that drawing 3 reports is, is, is a drawing that's created on the fly from this query number 3 and that query number 3 uh, captures whatever has been selected in this Mexico drawing so let's change the selection in Mexico drawing. Let's choose Edit, Select, None. Okay, and now uh, back here in uh, drawing number three in the in the map, let's choose uh, View Refresh, and you can see that when we refresh, it shows that there's no object because there's nothing selected here. Okay, so let's select a bunch of uh, let's select a bunch of uh, objects here. Got to tell you, this funny thing about Windows is uh, whenever you're clicking stuff, Windows 10 pops up in all kinds of strange dialogues. All right, so here we are in uh, Mexico. We've selected these areas, and uh, back here in the map, let's choose uh, View, Refresh, and there you can see dynamically on the fly it creates these areas here in this Drawing 3, which is based on Query 3, and Query 3, of course, in turn, is the query that Manifold wrote for us, which automatically uh, picks out whatever has been selected in this uh, drawing or table. And uh, you may think, well, geez, that's uh, that's really wonderful, but I don't like that uh, pale gray, gray formatting. What I'd really like to do is I'd really like to see that formatted uh, like this wonderful drawing that we have here called Drawing. Well, that's easy to do. Let's turn off Drawing 3. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here to Query 3 and Control-A, select everything, Control-C to copy that. Then I'm going to go back here into Query. Query, remember, is the... Uh, is what we wrote to create that very first drawing, select everything from Mexico table. And I will replace the query text with the query that we generate query text that we generated from query three. If I run that query text, you can see that it does report the various provinces that have been selected here. And uh, if you're kind of thinking ahead here, you know what that means. So that means that when we uh, turn on drawing and uh, we re refresh the view, view, refresh, Drawing is now now that it's using the same query text that we wrote for query three, uh, will also show these objects that are selected in this uh, Mexico drawing here, but uh, it'll show them using the uh, formatting, which uh, 
we define for a drawing that is the style because if we right click on the drawing here and choose properties you can see that it has the style field here that was uh, defined everything by the way that's uh, defined here in uh, Manifold is available to you with SQL uh, you know you can mess around with it you can uh, move these things around copy and paste them and uh, that's one reason why it's so easy and so convenient to move data around like you see as we're doing here seamlessly in Manifold let's uh, to prove that all this works correctly let's uh, come back here into this Mexico drawing choose edit select none and now let's select some uh, provinces here on the Atlantic coast of uh, Mexico there that'll do and now I can come back here into the uh, into the map choose view refresh and you can see that these objects are now dynamically uh, created based on the query text that we wrote which selects which pulls selected objects out of this uh, drawing here and they're automatically formatted and styled using the styling that we defined earlier so there you go what we've seen is uh, we've seen how uh, not only can we create drawings from uh, queries which is an extremely useful thing we've also seen how those queries can be highly sophisticated and how for example using things like selection tables we can use commands like this filter using query command to have manifold automatically write SQL for us which does various fancy things the filter we applied in that case was a very simple filter it just filtered to show selected objects we could have applied a fancier filter for example filtering by population you know showing all Mexican provinces that are selected and also uh, have a population greater than a certain number and ha had we clicked that filter using query button manifold would have written the SQL for us that generates a, that for us so if we're not all that comfortable with SQL or we want to learn how to do fancy new things to ex extend and expand our understanding of SQL uh, a very convenient way of doing that if you're a guy like me who doesn't remember everything is to remember about SQL is to let manifold write the SQL for you and then you can take advantage of the power of that when you do things like create queries and then create drawings from those queries this has been a long video I hope you found it useful uh, please uh, play around with these uh, new capabilities in Manifold. Try seeing this video a couple times. If you don't have uh, Release 9, uh, download a uh, free Manifold viewer and uh, try it out with that. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the show today, and thank you for watching. Goodbye from Manifold Release 9 land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. As always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.